Hey there, I'm Slav and I will give you today exclusive look over my studio and workshop where I creating and painting beautiful hand painted backdrops for the customers all over the world. So why the backdrops are so important? Because every photographer can create own style and be unique. It's different to the white backgrounds or black backgrounds, everyone can have them. But if you're buying backdrops from me, you will have a unique piece of art. I cannot recreate even my own backdrops. Never mind if you send me the pictures from other backdrop painters or other photographers who are using different backdrops. I can't recreate them. They're all unique. Uh, would I love your inspiration images? I really do. Because they're helping me to understand what you're looking for. Why you want this backdrop and what texture you want and what color you want. It's easier to show through the image than just explain why my backdrops are unique. When I starting painting the backdrop, I have the vision, but this kind of vision, it's not about the texture or it's not about the color. It's more about the feel. And when I painting the backdrop for you, it kind of, I giving a little bit of my soul into the backdrop and stroke by stroke creating this amazing hand painted piece of art to help you to create a fantastic images and sell them to your customers. And the customers will hang these pieces of your work on the wall and will look on them every day. It's not two backdrops the same. It's painting, it's not printing. So send me the inspirational images, I love them, because I can see what you like, what you like to achieve and I will work towards with them, but I never will recreate them. Because, like I said before, I'm not even able to recreate my own backdrop. Never mind others. I only can create the backdrop which belong to my soul. It's similar with, um, like with photography. When um, you, as a photographer, will create something unique and beautiful, other ones cannot recreate that. Because that was in your head. And nothing to do with a uh, um, camera, nothing to do even with the backdrop. The vision was in your head. That's what you implemented in the image what you created. Same is the, with the backdrop. You're sending me inspirational image, what you want to see on your backdrop. And I giving a smile piece of soul into the backdrop and created it as I see it, especially for you, unique. I don't create color recipes. That's why my backdrops are unique. I will never recreate in the same backdrop. It will be always different. Even if I will decide to put same colors on the canvas, it will still be different. It's the reason because it's impossible to measure exact amount of water I, will, I added last time, measure how wet the canvas is this time, is the same as last time. Really important as well, how canvas is primed. I uh, call half primed canvas and fully primed canvas. So it's a two different styles and I will prime it, depends on the customer request, what the customer wants to achieve, which texture. So sometimes with half primed backdrops, you even be able to use maybe um, butt side of the backdrop as well with unique texture, which I don't have really control over it. So don't forget to check your bad side of the backdrop when you receive, and you might decide to use it as well. You are all unique. Your vision, it's only your vision. Camera angle you choose, the lighting, the setting. So why do you limiting yourself on black and white backdrops or even color backdrops, but they really easily accessible for other photographers and when they can kind of recreate your style very easily. But if you have a painted backdrop, never ever somebody will have same piece of backdrop as you have. So you will be unique and you can build a style which will be recognizable every time you post your images all over the internet. So like I said before, trends are changing. That will be always like that. Well, hand painted backdrops have been used from 18th centuries. 
And photographers still using them in fine art photography up to today, so I don't know, that's the trend? I don't know if you know, but I'm a photographer too. So I really know what you want. I've been photographing for five years probably now in the studio. And I've always been using hand-painted backdrops. I won quite a few national and international awards. I'm Master Photographer Association Associate Photographer. I uh, finalist of International Master Photography Association yearly awards. So I've been recognized as photographer in the industry. And I think part of the, my success is the backdrops. I've been able to create my own style using the backdrops. So I can help you to do that too. So I know which backdrop will work for the photographers depends on the setting we're choosing. So if you tell me the setting usually you should photograph in studio, uh, I will be able to recommend you a texture, for example, and how light or dark backdrop need to be for you. Well, it's your choice, but I can give you a recommendation as well. For example, if you're using 85mm lens with 1.4 f-stop and uh, your subject is about 2 meters from the backdrop and you photograph it with natural light, for example, the backdrop will become very blurry and if I paint very fine texture I think that texture will disappear and backdrop will become just a wall so it's no point if you're shooting like that very often I will offer you a little bit more coarser texture and that texture will be more visible in these settings and vice versa if you're shooting f11, f16 and close sub and subject very close to the backdrop I probably will offer a quite low texture backdrop on end of the day it will be your choice whichever you will say so something about the color if you have very important shoot coming up and you need exact color I can't promise I will give you exact color but if you send me a Pantone color code I can try to create the color you desire with no promises and if I will show you the picture of the backdrop will you be able to tell exactly how light or dark this backdrop is probably not because we don't know the settings the photographer been using we don't know how far the light was situated from the backdrop we don't know how powerful the light was and all other variables so we don't know how light the backdrop it was. We only can create something what you want. Because you might like shooting very dark, dark style, or maybe you like very light backdrops. So we can choose the lightness of the backdrop by your personality. So how can I help you? I can paint the backdrop for you. And just for you and it will be unique it will be your personal backdrop no one else will have something like this and you can create beautiful photos for your customers and make the money that way you probably will decide to come back for some more backdrops my goal is create for you a beautiful backdrop which can help you make money and help you to put the bread on the table for your family and spend more time with your kids. So, let's create one backdrop for you and just for you. Contact me as soon as you can. Made your mind what you want to achieve. Maybe you have some colors or texture. Maybe you have some in inspirational images. Send me them over. Contact me. I will give you a quote and we can work together to achieve the best results we can make today.